Boy Meets World was part of ABC's legendary TGIF lineup for seven seasons. Now, after more than a decade, the stars of the hit 90s show all got together to meet once again. Sitting down with a reunion with on the red carpet host Rachel Smith at the ATX Television Festival in Austin, Texas. When the spawn meets world. best friend, man. You just gotta loosen up. It was a tale of Boy Meets Friend. You don't think I'm a geek? Of course not. You think I'm cool? Of course not. Then, Boy Meets Girl. <laughs> Add a loving family and a teacher who just happens to be your neighbor. Hey, Mr. Feeney, what you doing? And you've got the syllabus to success of Boy Meets World. Capturing the voice of the pre-cell phone 90s generation. Underpants. <laughs> Now, 13 years later, class is back in session with Corey, John, Corey's mom, Amy, Jack, Angela, Rachel, Corey's original kid sister, Morgan, and show creator, Michael Jacobs. All present for our sit down at the ATX Television Festival. We are missing a few people, so. Hey, Mr. Panga. <laughs> ben, she's like right there in your. I know. I'm she sure. looks great. She yeah. Looks great. <laughs> I love you. On screen for Corey and Topanga, played by Daniel Fischel, it was love at first high five. <laughs> the couple eventually tied the knot, but off screen, who dated behind the scenes? Ryder and I. <laughs> oh, come on. Rumor has it that perhaps you and Topanga. She's always been a wonderful friend. I love Danielle to death. That's all I can say. <laughs> and Sean? He had a romance with his hair. Cool. They had to straighten my hair. <laughs> Almost looked like they used a curling iron. Yes, they used a curling iron. <laughs> I looked like a Muppet, let's be honest. <laughs> hey, Angela. The notorious ladies' man it's later falling much. for Angela. It was a lot of controversy at the time, you know, because we really didn't mention the fact that I was black and he was white. It touched on themes that people could relate to. Relationships, growing up. It really sparked something in people. Even in the youngest of cast members, like four-year-old Lily Nixay. It could have been a puppy. <laughs> Corey, no one is that naive. I feel like I have a foot in both worlds, kind of. Um, a part of the show, but also an audience member. It's just a wonderful legacy. A legacy built in part by Mr. Feeney. Feeney! <laughs> Played by William Daniels, a character revered for his life lessons. Believe in yourselves. Bill Daniels is very proper, and the cast always believed that Bill was British. <laughs> the show welcomed fresh faces in later seasons. Sean's brother Jack and Rachel, the lucky lady torn between two teen dreams. It was really tough for me. <laughs> the triangle between them was so much fun. I was also kind of, um, kind of a really introvert type of a person. I never actually really asked you guys this, but do you guys think I was just really quiet or... Or, or yeah, you were shy. <laughs> you were shy. <laughs> shy. Let's do a little superlatives game. Is that cool? Great. All right, who was the real life heartbreaker? I think it's them too. <laughs> <laughs> Who was most likely to be class president? Yeah, I would oh, Danielle. Danielle. Yeah, Danielle. Danielle. Okay, so then who would be the real cast clown? Oh, Will. 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 Yeah. My name is Plays with Squirrels. <laughs> they would just laugh hysterically over something we didn't know anything about. But we would laugh because it was so contagious. After seven seasons, they closed the yearbook on the series. Class dismissed. Now get ready for a spin-off pilot, Girl Meets World, following up on the life of Corey and Topanga's 12-year-old daughter. You close a chapter on your life, and now it's like 13 years later, you're reopening something. While Topanga and Corey are the only official characters returning to the sitcom... We're going to figure out a way to see absolutely everybody in this room, and even... And Mr. And, Feeney. And, 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 yes, and the cardboard cutout there in the corner. <laughs> the cardboard cutout's going to be great. Right She's a done deal. For Good Morning America, Rachel Smith, ABC News, Austin.